Hi, my name's Steve Yellowhorse, and I'm an Navajo silversmith. I'm here in Gallup, New Mexico, also known as the Indian jewelry capital of the world. Today I'd like to talk about the design of Indian jewelry, how it's made. Um, some Navajos use uh, traditional designs, uh, religious symbolism, but being a Christian I had to come up with a, my own style. So I use uh, things that I see in nature, uh, clouds, uh, waves, uh, plants, leaves, uh, shells, things of that nature. And I developed my own style using those designs. But here are just a couple of, uh, just to give you an idea, uh, this will probably be made into a buckle. I haven't done that one yet. Here are some designs for bracelets that I have finished. And these, I did these last year uh, with a 14 karat and turquoise in the middle and, and stamping and the, the cutout shapes. We're ready to make a piece of jewelry now. Today I'd like to make a bracelet. First thing I need to do is select a piece of turquoise. Here we have turquoise that I've collected over the years. This is high quality, rare turquoise. Very hard to find and very expensive when you do find it. A lot of these mines are not being mined anymore. Uh, they've closed down such as uh, the Bisbee mine that produces this type of turquoise. That's only available from private collectors who have had it for years. I think this piece will work fine right here for the idea I have in mind. First thing I need to do is determine the length of the bracelet. Then I need to find the center. That's 73 millimeters. We need to decide whether we want it to be right in the exact center which would be nice, but I think we'll just, just put it a little off to make it interesting. So. Just like that. And that's how it's going to look when it's rounded with the stone sitting there. And I want to put some design on either side of that stone. A lot of times I start with a design and it doesn't come out exactly like the drawing but it's a, it's a good beginning to start with. It may, it may uh, change a little as I go along. There it is. Now we need to select the silver that we're going to use in this project. For the bracelet itself, I'm going to be using half round. Now down here, where I keep the sheet silver. This is an 18 gauge. I'll use this for leaves. This is a 20 gauge. It's lighter. I'll use this for the back of the stone. And down here, I have bezel of different widths. We'll go with a 28 gauge. First thing I need to do is you have to straighten out this wire. Piece and another one just like it. I need to anneal the silver to make it soft so I can bend it. I need to turn off this light so I can see what color the silver is turning. It's turning gray and black, and as it starts to turn red, that's when, that's when I douse it in water. Now I want to begin to bend it into the shape that I've drawn out here. Okay. And here. I'm starting at one end. And I'm going to begin to bend this into the right shape. In our, I need to put a bezel around this stone. Just like that. You don't need a lot of heat because this is pretty thin. There's the bezel. This is what will hold the stone in. Thank you. 
here. And I'll heat from underneath because I don't want to burn that bezel up. It's a saw. Follow the edge. It's a lot of pain. The idea is to make it seamless so that you can't tell where it was soldered. This little contraption right here that I'm soldering on is it's really been a great benefit to me because you can turn it around as you're soldering. From there, it's just a matter of repetition, making sure the lines are spaced apart evenly. There you go. to do next is to bend these leaves some hollowed out areas and all it takes is to pound it from. in two sides get it in the right position that I want so that's why stones will fall out sometimes it's probably best not to submerge your jewelry in water now we're clearing off the, the back plate where I stamped my my signature and the other information that tells you who made it and what it is when it was made. So here we have the original drawing, the original concept, and here we have the finished piece. <laughs> 